Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the DAC Group A stage coverage. As I am Odie Pixel, I'm here with Fogged, and we're getting ready for what will be the final game of the day here in Group A. It is Avicii Gaming versus LGD. The it draft is. is well underway, so let's pass you guys into it so we can get through the bands as we have had the six of them Radiant already. Dark Will and Ace's Prophet and Razor from Radiant one side and over on the side of Avicii Gaming, the Chen, the Beastmaster and the Tusk. Instant picks Instant coming through. A first whoa, whoa, pick. Whoa, what? A first pick, Terror Blade. That's an early pick. Okay, now I, I mean I gotta I gotta now I gotta go and look at I mean look at what these teams have been putting. What it's it's one of those heroes pick, that though. I imagine does get banned out a lot against Paparazzi because it's it's definitely one of his finest. Sure, and so, also Ame does like to play it a lot. Sure, right? So it's you take it away from them. You know it's gonna come up somewhere in the draft. I mean it's a first. pick. Are they gonna pull a secret? And if there's too many counter picks, they can run it in support. I'm just kidding. But it's, nah. it's Chinese teams are. Not, I, I would I mean, love Chinese to see another that. team try that, but. <laughs> Chinese teams are not going to go that off the wagon. No. Uh, they got themselves the uh, witch doctor. I just, man, it's so crazy when you were, were casting all these BO ones because you were, it, you know, just jumping from game to game, different team to different team, and look at the difference in draft priorities. Oh, we're getting right? some good variants and, yeah, and stuff. I know people at the crazy. start were complaining, all oh, these men are the same heroes all the time, but now over the days and over the games, we are seeing that there is a lot of difference between the certain teams. Is that your uh, impression of other people? Yeah. Oh, you're, 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 you're same heroes all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. So let's see. Well, they want to have the Omni. I'm taking a look at all these things. So, I mean, no, Vici, dude, Vici has, they haven't been having Terrorblade ban versus them at all. Well, they're not. Uh, no, they've actually oh. been the ones banning it in the fourth and fifth bands. But Pat Brassi's good at it, though. He it? is. But then this look, that's the LGD. LGD has, they've been opening with it. Oh, Radiant okay. They've been opening with Beastmaster, Terrorblade, Ooh. and Omni Knight, Terrorblade. They open with the Omni Knight OD. Ah. Take him. So that's, okay. that's pretty nice as they... Yeah, I think you know yeah, you're safe to do that. You know that the OD is probably going to get banned, and you have seen oh, one of their cores, so you feel happy taking it. Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, wait, an Arc Warden? And I'm like, oh yeah, wait, Ame. Ame really likes to play Arc Warden. That okay. Makes sense. I was a bit intrigued by that one, but yeah, oh, man, Omni Knight, Omni OD. That's, that's the that's classic. Good. That's good, yeah. Radiant. That's a very back. strong too against yep. the, the Terra Blade. So depending on Death Prophet, mm -hmm. DP traditionally can be. Pretty good versus Omni Knight as well. So D the Silence is really good, but also Vici's got Ori. So I think that's I think it's I think it is still Ori's most played hero overall. I'm gonna check that too. Really Which one is the Death so Prophet? Yeah, he loves remaining. he loves Death Prophet. Is it that of the Storm? It's, it's Storm one there. Five seconds uh, remaining. Mm, they played a lot. Yeah. 96 games with it. 96 games, but that's also including, I mean, that's that's, that's standing a, that's very far back, thing, yeah. of course, but he's been playing it a lot recently, of course. So, fourth ban from, sorry, fifth ban from each game with the Sand King. And back to LGD. I'll see what they want to try and take away from this Terror Blade of Witch Doctor. Any of the sort of heroes that could be incredibly scary, I mean... I think LGD in particular, they want to have a lot of, like, some stuns, some disables. You never want to play versus a terribly lineup when you're you're low on AoE and low on stuns because then the Sunders are always going to be coming out. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team. So they do ban Batrider from the side of LGD. I'm, I'm also, you know what I'm most curious about? How uh, oh. Vici, they banned the Tusk in the first three, too. And Tusk, as we were mentioning, has, like, a 25% win rate currently. But I know LGD does like to play it. But still, I mean, it has just been, it has really been suffering. Ten seconds remaining. The Beastmaster and Chen make sense, but the Tusk one is a little bit interesting to me. They're going to go Nyx. That was actually left in the pool versus the OD. Ooh, However, scary. But he does have the Omni. It is, does have the Omni, exactly. It does have the Omni, but there, there'll certainly still be opportunities, you would imagine, for, for yeah. the Nyx assassin to get that big heavy burst. Yeah, Mana Burn, the Mana Burn is always going to be a real big nuisance against that little uh, devourer. Ten seconds remaining. We'll see what they take. To deal Five with it, seconds remaining. as LGD, you would expect uh, to start to see their support pairing now, as uh, they have already revealed their first two cores. What do they want to take here for the supports? Hmm. They know that there's going to be an X walking around the map, so someone that's going to deal nicely with having the fear of that Nyx assassin approaching them. Yeah, it's a different trap than when they've uh, usually had because a lot of their heroes have been banned. They've been playing a lot of the Venge, but when they don't have a traditional like physical carry, I don't know if they're really going to go for that. Maybe some just Disruptor. Oh, oh, and that is oh probably probably going to be the support Kunkka, right? Rather than a core. 
I would imagine so. The uh, it was Fy who's played the Kunker in the past, hasn't he? Yes, yeah. and it's gonna it has decent combo at least with the OD, right? Yeah. When you've got the Astral, and Sunder. I mean, uh, not Sunder. Sorry, the boat is always gonna be. I mean, a boat's just. I mean, boat's just great. Such an Against unbelievable like everything. spell. Yeah. Yeah. So that gives them the catch. And yeah. we we're talking about they want to have disables as well versus Tower Blade. That's going to give it to them a bit here. The setup for the torrent with the Astro. Yeah. yeah the, 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 as we said, we imagine to be the, the FY Kunker could be very nice with those rotations towards the OD's lane, helping them to find those early kills. Yeah. And more ways to protect the OD, right? Yeah. A lot of ways to keep them alive. Yeah. Between these two. I miss seeing Lan M Kunker. That's too bad LGD's got it. Well, them used to be so crazy on that hero. He did, and he was one of the one of China's finest on on the Kunkka. I liked seeing when Ehome would play like the Kunkka Coddle. That was so fun for me during uh, what was that? Tier six? Yeah, Tier six. I think it was. Wow, oh, Richie Gammy. How do they deal with the old Kunkka? As we say, it's always about sort of ideally somehow getting him out of the fight at the start of it. Because if he gets his spells off, it's it's so hard to fight into the run. Yeah, I want to make sure that they ha they have like team fight and stuff because the thing that I've been seeing about Vici is when they have like these I mean, these drafts that are very single target oriented, they really suffer. I mean that that tends to be the case when you have single target drafts. But yesterday in particular, when I saw them versus Optic and having like Lion and and like Tusk and all this, they looked yeah. very very questionable. And Puck, I like that. Yeah. It's it's as I said, you want some way to get to the back on top of the Kunker, yeah. silence him up and stuff. Puck's your answer. Yeah, and Ori's been I think Ori's really well known for that Puck too. So. He's very comfortable on it. Now, Logi D, let's see what Five else they can get. I mean, remaining. sure, they, they have the X Marks, Torrent, the Astral, but they may still want some sort of more reliable lockdown in terms of a, a good bit of stun or control to care, help catch out heroes like the Puck. Mm -hmm. Puck can be good, though, versus Omni OD. Getting that silence off. Yeah, in, no, in absolutely. Crucial situations. Yeah, the, the silence is going to be big. Yeah, the, the Puck could be, could be really nice here. And keeping them in range of that terror blade is always going to be. And there we go. That's oh that's the hard my. lockdown that, that I was looking for. You, you've got the they got the shaman, and he's got a I couple of ways to do so. But we have seen that hero certainly be less favored as of the I sort of nerf after nerfs. I haven't seen it in a long, especially not from LGD. They have not picked it in the last twenty games. Remaining. Let's keep going. I wouldn't be surprised if it's been a long time. 30, 30 games, 30, 40 games. They have not played in yeah. a very long time. That's all we're going to go with here. I'm not going to keep going back. But yeah, they have. Well, okay. they, they needed someone to hit the towers, and yeah. they needed some extra control. He yeah. offers both of them. Certainly has exactly. his other sort of weak, uh, weaknesses. As it's saying, uh, down to the nurse he's received as recently. It's always going to be, like, the control for the tower blade's always going to be nice and everything, yep. and having that tower push, as you mentioned, because they have an OD, they really want that. But also... Instant disables versus puck. Yeah. That's always the absolute dream. Getting that instant hex to be and able to stop the, the combos. The final ban, the, the void actually taken away by Vici Gaming. Okay. I mean, that is another hard lockdown, right? If they can just Absolutely. get that Tower Blade held down. Another option for Ame here. Ten seconds remaining. Or could could they still be for? a okay PL game. Five I know Ame really remaining. likes the PL, but it's first a Tower Blade, so I'm Maybe going to be a little bit dissuaded from Do that one. Do you think there's any sort of temptation to, to just to just grab the old gyro themselves, LGD? Got the backup with the Omni? I guess they could. They haven't really been favoring that hero too much. They've been banning it a couple times, but they actually haven't picked it at all, even when it's been okay. left in some of those games. I think they just want a good core v core matchup. Or just they go for PL, which, sure, Reflection is great versus PL, but I know Ame likes it, and there's not that much extra ways to hold them down. Nyx, Assassin, and Puck pretty much exclusively being it. Witch Doctor is not good versus PL. What other options could LGD look at here? I mean, well, sure, there's, there's, you think there's no chance that it is a core conquer. That'd be it? very strange. Pretty unlikely. I think only see Secrets, I think Secrets yeah. is the only team that I've seen run uh, core conquer lately. Yeah. LGD's turn. And Melina is banned out. They've actually had a almost exact same draft as this uh, a couple days ago, but they had a Terror Blade with these four picks. They literally had these four and a Terror Blade. Radiant so what's it going to be? Monkey. Monkey oh, King. Oh, okay. I may used to like this hero a lot. Okay. So uh, yeah, one of those heroes that can be quite squishy, but as we said, they, they've got the Kunk and the Honor, two heroes that can keep these cores alive. Hmm. So the Monkey King. Ten seconds remaining. 
But I mean, it's, it's definitely one of those heroes that I'm never too crazy about seeing because it it, it definitely has its weaknesses. Of course, it can get it can get burst down hmm. quite easily, but Ame, I mean, Ame's like the hero, and it can match pretty well versus Tower Blade if you get to that like very farm point because you will be able to have if you're fighting inside of the ultimate, there's yeah. going to be Rum active on you. There's going to be that plus armor you get from your Wukong. Yeah, they can keep him that alive. can be very very nice versus the Tower Blade. To Vici Gaming go for here, their final pick, looking to, as we imagine, be the offlane unless they want to switch things up with the, the puck and such, and they will actually pick him. A lone druid. So, and it, it will be played... By 11. By 11. So maybe... In that offlane or, or side lane. I think he... M will he maybe go, will will he maybe go mid? Lanes? Maybe he'll go mid and they're going to do that dual aggro that we've been seeing a lot from them, like Nyx plus puck offlane. But the lone druid, having... Like what? What do you feel about that? Having a, a Terra Blade and a Lone Druid on the same team, it could maybe cause some problems if they're unable to fight. I, I actually think it's it's a little greedy coming yeah, out from it, them here. It feels terrifically greedy. Yeah, but they do have the combo, right? Lone Druid Puck, so they do have the Savage Roar plus the Dream Coil, which could be sure. pretty nice for some team fights. Sure. But Lone Druid versus Shadow Shaman is also nice. Killing the Wards is very easy. You have two ways. You have two hits constantly, always be able to bring them down. Running. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah Savage would say the combo. Definitely good. Nice greedy. against the Monkey King as well, pushing him out of his ultimate. But yeah, let's see how it goes. 11 Lone Druid with the Paparazzi Terror Blade on the same lineup. Yeah. But hmm. uh, definitely the, the flashy hero we're looking at is going to be that FY Kunker. Let's see what he can get done on this. As we, as I say, it's definitely something I'm pretty sure we've seen in the past, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, no, not definitely, recently, definitely. I don't think. it's It's been quite some time, I want to say. I'll Unless I've missed one that. of the games where he's picked it out. They, like I told you, they played it. Um, oh, they so have played said, it. Yeah, they had like said, two yeah. games back to back where they had almost identical drafts. As you can okay. see right here. Yeah, look, they had. So they've done it pretty recently. They had it in like recently. Epicenter. They picked Omni Knight, Witch Doctor, Kunkka, OD, Arc Warden, and then the game before yeah. that they had Omni Terra Blade, Shadow Shaman, Kunkka, OD. So almost same exact draft, but like one switched hero in each. Yeah, that was yeah four of the same heroes. Four of the same heroes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Let's see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ourselves into this one, the final game of the day here on Group A. And they did win all three of those games, by the way, too. All right, let's see how FY Kunker is. As you say, it was done about a week ago. Let's see how he can do it on LAN. Let's see if he's still got that magic in him. On LAN and versus LAN. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, that was bad. As LAN and Will know and have the insights to the Kunker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's see how these items being decided here. It will be... Yeah, how are we, how are we landing 11 and uh, and Ori? It looks like Ori will go mid. It looks like Ori will go mid. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was checking the items. 11 is going to go to the side lane. Okay. And the Arme Monkey King, as you say, a hero that he obviously loves to play. So they're going to go... They're positioned in aggro at the moment. They want to shut down the Monkey King, because like we've mentioned, Monkey King can be a pretty weak laner. Oh, absolutely. If you get pressured like this. Lone Druid can be left alone, so they yeah. can be free to move around with their supports a lot. All right, and Ori versus the OD mid. Puck wins that matchup. And Ori is, like we were mentioning, this is like this is his jam. He He's loves this. this hero. I actually have seen this was I've seen him do very impressive things on the Puck in matchups that he actually shouldn't win. So in, in theory, this one he should do very well with that increase with that higher base damage. I mean, Puck is at 67, OD only at 55. We'll see what maybe can do though. Maybe he's also an absolute beast in the mechanical landing skill. So two for two runes. Hype. Let's see what they can do here on these lanes and see if the greed from Vici Gaming pays off. I mean, both the Lone Druid and the Terra Blade on the same lineup. A lot of reliance on, I imagine, the the well, the two supports and Ori to make those plays. I do like that they're going for this aggro though. Like the, you look at this tri-lane from LGD. Shadow Shaman, Monkey King, Kunkka, pretty damn weak. Sure, Vichy's isn't really the strongest ever because they have a Nyx Assassin, but they can definitely pick up some kills with the meta. Let's see what they can do here. Mm -hmm. As the eyes are on one another. Starting away with a bit of a punch. Neither team really too excited to make a go here at level one. As FY, pretty tanky on the Kunkka. I don't see an opening here though. As Femrit steps a little too far up. He's going to get caught out by the Shackles and the Torrent. And that damage here from the right click of Nova bringing him down low, but the Stone comes through from Lanham. He'll be able to turn towards FY. 
Push him away, and the Witch Doctor will be fine. They'll salve him up as well. The taunts. I, mean, I, I love watching F F Y and Lana playing these heroes with taunts is so fun. Constantly spamming it. In they match up so far. Uh, slight lead here for Ori. Yeah. Like, like we, yeah, like we're mentioning. Somnus could definitely catch back up here, but definitely a puck favored. Top lane. Top lane again. They're actually going to get a grab on the bigger target here, Paparazzi. Oh, he's dead. He is far away from his two supports, and LGD will punish that. And that's with uh, Ame not even having Boundless Strike skilled. He didn't even have to use the Tree Dance either, just having those Jingu start to add up the control. They have to have the supports in the lane to be able to protect him, and FY will get the Torrent. We'll be able to take one of the runes. Give Lanen a bit of harassment here, but Lanen will be able to get that other bounty. Bottom lane. Eleven doing a good Eleven's job in this 1v1. Yeah. He's keeping Chalice low, and he's keeping his CS high. Nine for three against the four for two. Playing around with the confidence there as well to get behind that tier one tower. Lone Druid just able to get so many denies because of the way you can last hit with your hero and your bear. You essentially have like 94 base damage. If you're able to time it perfectly. And he's going to go and he will be able to pick up the two bounty runes as well because bears to be able to accelerate his farm even more. Picks up one, at least for the time being. And maybe actually pretty much even in the mid lane. The courier, Ori jumps in, he gets it! <laughs> Oh, right. He's going to eat a lot of damage here, but well worth it. Absolutely. Knocking that out for three minutes. Torrent right, with a quick. Torrent top. The jump in as well from Monkey King. The reflection. They're turning towards Arme. Paralyzing cask and the stun's coming out. Arme's falling incredibly low with the Malachi Tonim. Arme's going to pop. Arme will fall. They're trying to at least find Fenrir in response. And they do get the final right click through from Nova. So the one for one, but it cost LGD their carry. Right, and now because of because Ori went for the courier snipe though, you see maybe is pulling ahead quite heavily in that uh, last hits in in mid. Ori had to go back to base. They're really slowing down the farm of this Monkey King, and they've got Metamorphosis available now for the next one. So if the VG supports stand in the lane, they can definitely protect that Terra Blade. Why? Find the Tara. Yes, the Torrent again. The burst onto Fenrir. Fenrir just getting right click down by this high right click of Nova. He goes oh. for the shackles. Oops. They have the X mark. They rely on that instead to get the kill. But will they actually be able to finish off? They're going to have Torrent back up again in a second. Can he land it? He goes on top of himself. He won't be able to find it. They get still the get the shackles though. And they will slightly but surely find Fenrir. He does get a ward down on his way out though. Top lane. With that play around there, Arme has been left on his own. And I'm trying for the chase down, but Arme just a little too speedy with the boots on him. I really like this pressure that they're causing with this aggro lane. Yeah, Arme's farm being slowed down a little bit. Yeah. X Nova went on a warding expedition after they got that kill. On the Witch Doctor, you see him place a ward mid. It was under vision, though, of Vici, so that mid ward should get taken out by Ori. They even give him the sentry just now, and here we go. Sentry down, he will get the D ward. Easy money for the puck. Bottom lane, that lead still continuing for 11, mm -hmm. as he does hold the, the lane advantage against Chalice. 26 for 11. This is the absolute, absolute most ideal thing for Vici. Is like, sure, the puck now is behind in the last hits in mid because of that courier snipe, but getting away with their first greedy initial picks with Lone Druid and Terra Blade because of the lane setup is great for them. It's, it's all going to be just about in that mid game if they can actually sustain the team fights versus OD plus Omni Knight. Does he have the Dominator finished on 11? He basically does. Just going to need the rest. Oh, yeah, sorry, he does have it. He's got the head just to get ready. So, about five minutes. Gets that siege wet, siege creep. We'll be able to pressure the tower a bit here. Just a uh, pure 1v1 at the moment in both uh, the mid and the bottom. Yeah. Sort of rotations from either of the supports as they are, just keeping their focus up top. In fact, if anything, Ori 
He's looking to head up towards top and help out. Lanham looking for the body blocks on Tuame. FY. Just get maledicted. They'll drop the dream coin now, Ori. Finding the Monkey King Ame, trying to jump himself away. He's up on the high ground, but there. Jumps again. He's up and he's out. Ame will be fine. The X mark to hold back Ori. He'll go for the phase shift play, but he'll still get caught out by the combo. Drag back. Ame and FY getting themselves out of there. Even with the Dream Coil used, they can't quite catch the Monkey King. But they're not letting him farm. It's a level 4 Monkey King with 19 last hits to the 30 last hits of the Terror Blade. Is a oh, very slow start in that regard. Paparazzi starting to push in onto this tower top. They are coming back towards him though, LGD. Can they get the grab onto him? They look towards him. He's actually been left alone. Paparazzi, he's got no support back up. He's With dead. the burst, they've got him. Shackles to hold him down. Take a few punches, but there's the boundless. With the Jingu built up, LGD will kill off Paparazzi. Yep. And during all this as well now, 11. We'll be able to get some... Uh, we'll be able to closely get this tower down to 300 HP with that Siege Creep he has. But mid, maybe. With the rotations for Mori. Level 7, almost level 8 on the OD now. Having an excellent time. I'm sure the build is going to be for Mami this game, is it? Still sort of the, the, the popular one to get the Battle Fury? He does really like the Battle Fury build, so I'd imagine he would. But now top again, he's getting pressured. Yeah, they have the stun. Tries going on to Paparazzi, but Paparazzi quickly turning, because this time he has got the support back. Lanham and Fememory are there with the stun and the Maledict to the Red Amorphosis. They have enough damage. Dream Core down. They're looking to chase down FY, and they'll get him also. They jump forward. He goes for the Torrent play, but he's already dead. Gucci Gaming strike back hard up top to get those two kills. The space is there for Eleven to push on, take that early Tier 1 tower away from Chalice down bottom. He's farming so well in this lone druid. Every single time, too, he's been claiming both bounty runes with his bear. Now, though, they're looking to punish him. The rotation comes up from the OD as well as the two supports. There's four heroes coming in on him here. Eleven. They've got the invis rune set up. Surely Eleven can't get himself out of this one. FY tries for the blind torrent. He's not going to make it. Oh, it's ominous. He finds him in time. He's got the astral to cancel the TP. LGD come in to surround him. He'll try and buy some time with a savage draw, but with four heroes here, no way for Eleven to get himself out of there, and LGD will get the kill. And certainly a, a well-needed one as well, as we were saying, with a, the way that Eleven was getting such a fantastic start that Yeah, top of each will be able to pretty much get this tower, and still, I may can't farm. He's fallen behind. Further and further in the bottom half of the net worth. It's Monkey King. They've got to catch him up with uh, like OD making moves around the map like he just did toward bottom. He needs to keep, I think maybe needs to keep doing that to make sure that they can have space for Ame to really have a place in this game. And you see the skill build though, Ame, because he knows he's getting pressured so hardly, going for the three points in the tree down so he can he's farm with that primal spring mid, maybe. Looking for Femrit, moving up, Chalice trying for the body blocks, the dream goes down to hold back the two of them and immediately with a double amount of silence they're trying to turn things around, Lanham gets the stun as well, the combo through as they find the kill onto maybe. Chalice, also in trouble, they orb up to the high ground, he'll put the purification but they'll continue to chase it with the bear as Chalice will be slowly surrounded. He has got a TP, but no way that he can even think of trying to go for it there with a four-man hero chase down as Vici Gaming clean up both the Omni and the OD from that middle lane. Yeah, I think now, since we see like the Omni rotating as well with the OD, we'll see the skill build change over because he's 4 0 at the moment. He really needs to have a point in repel in those type of situations. Four, maybe. It just seems the cause of LGG just having a slightly tougher time than from Vici Gaming. As mentioned though, the skill build from Ame is allowing him to catch back up already. Having the yeah, those three points in Primal Spring as was mentioned. He's farming out some stacks, constantly pushing in that top wave. And now mid with this still having this siege creep with that dominator. They will look to be able to try to secure this tower. That would get it. Another tower. So 10 minutes in, all three tier ones taken by VG Gaming. Doing their best to play this early advantage. Yeah. As 11 still stands at the top of that net worth. I like how 11's like moving around too. Like started bottom, moved toward mid to take the tower, just to be sure to try to give them the advantage oh. with that TB. Somnus 
He wants this Witch Doctor. He's and not going to get it. Oh. oh. He, he tunnel visioned a little bit too hard there. And he pays the price. Up top, an attempt on Paparazzi, but he's got a spell called Sunder. He'll turn, and Arme, he's just dead. Two mess mistakes um. there from two cores of LGD. Yeah, that's it's getting exposed. I mean, those are that's so costly. This Terror Blade now has a Dragon Lance already. LTD. And that was a, a bit of an ambitious play to, to make. I mean, on both cores. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Um, I mean, maybe he was hoping that Paparazzi didn't have a point in the Sunder, but he did. And he gets that. That free solo kill. And now all three cores of Fiji Gaming, they're setting ahead. They were pretty close uh, a minute ago, but that situation has certainly accelerated in favor of Fiji Gaming. Yeah, I think LGD now, they, they have to be playing around a little bit more with FY, with him allowing, like, allow him to initiate the fights with the X, the Torrent, the boat. He's, the core is just walking in, and it's definitely awkward. They need someone else to start the fights. But look at this top, Fiji. Ori is making the move. Looking for Ame, who has queued up the Battle Fury. As we had, we kind of thought that he would do. Yeah. It's not going to be a quick one, though. It's going to take some time. A bottom, bottom lane. lane. Nova getting stunned through the trees by Lanham. Roots there as well. They'll find one. He drops the wards for this. Are they actually going to be able to achieve anything? They're trying to go on to 11, and they will they find him. him. Big kill for them to find, but the question is if Avicii Gaming can find more in return. Repels out as well as the GA onto Somnus, keeping him alive. And with that, LGD do claim themselves a second. They will be able to strike back and take a couple of lives of Vici. Yeah, Vici just, they, they went for the Shadow Shaman, but having Kunkka and Omni Knight around, they have more than enough to get these kills. And now they're looking for the Siege Creep. They get it. Plus 25. And then though, Lanham immediately on the hunt for Arme. And he's getting the intel. It is just him and Ori towards the mid. And there's backup as well. So not really a target they want to try and go for, but they're, they're going to try for it here. They will not have enough burst. And now Ori gets hecked, but ooh, still able to jump out just in time after that hex. Did the did he not hit with the Vendetta? Yeah, I think he just stunned. I think he, he did just stun. He I mean, even, stunned, even right? if he yeah. hit, I don't know if it would have been enough. Okay. Because the orb didn't connect either. No. So it's like... Uh, he had to use it to get out. Yeah. I mean, the they're, they're, they're poke and prod. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and at least, you know, for Vici Gaming, they, they do get themselves out. They don't... They don't lose anything because of that failed attempt. Yep. Still 11, about 2,900 gold towards his relic. Bounty. Ah. I mean, with this type of lineup, right, we mentioned, they've got Lone Druid and Terra Blade. With this, with this pace of the game at the moment, it's very good for VG. Absolutely. I'm the greed. It's paying off. Yeah, all because all that lane's All getting far. LTD now, though, will be able to strike back a bit here, claim themselves a tower, and it looks like it will be a Blink Dagger finished on maybe. I think he wanted that tower secured, but Chalice actually took it from him. And Chalice will be, has the drum and will be going for a pipe to be able to deal with that Nyx as well as the Puck. Magical damage affects his team. But at the same time, as the OD gets the Blink Dagger, as does Ori. So they've got a very clean way to initiate the fights now with this Puck. LGD, I think they really need to just play with the Kunkka around. That's probably the best way for them to come back in this game. It's only a 1k deficit at the moment, but Lone Druid and Terra Blade getting away like this, as we've been keep talking about, is very, very good for Vici. Bottom. Serve the wards. There. They want that bear. And will they get it? Ori's going to actually jump in. He's going to get the three-man dream card. The bear will survive. They keep it alive here. The death ward as well. Doing heavy amounts of damage. The two-man stun comes through. They found the shaman. Chalice gets the purification out in time. Sanities will be dropped. But it's not enough to kill off the Nyx assassin. Chalice goes to the TP out of the tree line. He'll make it away. So at the moment, LGD only losing the one. Torrent. will hold back the bear. And FY will be able to escape. So just... Just the one death from LGD, but they, they did commit a couple of big ults for that. Yeah, they did. I think if they hadn't used the Sanity's Eclipse, that would have been a big win for them there. That kind of sets them back a little, but they only lost Shadow Shaman, and they forced Metamorphosis as well as all the Puck spells. So not too bad for LGD when, they're, when they are behind. They caught back at least the Monkey King a decent amount during all that. Ame was farming, has the Demon Edge now finished. And Lanem. Oh. Gives him the carapace. There we go with the Vendetta hit, but he doesn't have anything else. And now, in fact, he's in a bit of trouble. So Somnus coming in. He's certainly gone. They've found the pickoff. 
TPs will be cancelled as Vici Gaming no interest in TPing into these three in the East 4 impact. Chalice joining the push as well. LGD starting to get the players back in their favour and taking some objectives. That was a quick move across the map too. Like they were all, they were just bottom taking a fight, and then they moved all the way up toward top to position themselves with Ame, kind of expecting maybe a move would come out. Quick rotation. How are we doing on the radiance for the bear? About one thousand more for eleven. And how's our terror blade? Almost he's going for Yasha BKB. Okay. So he wants to be able to fight as soon as they have radiance. Is what that tells me. The top now, GD claiming a tier two as the trade goes down bottom. This trade, this trade is still good for LGD though. They're versus the Lone Druid. And they get the tower hand. 11 will be able to get out. Yeah, if I try to the combo there, but LGD just a little bit too quick with the TP. Uh, starting things down, LGD, and they are starting to get those big items on their cores. There's those sort of earlier ones. Sure, it's not necessarily the quickest of timings, but the Battle of Fury pretty much done now. I mean, that's... Still not, but no, considering that's the That's a pretty damn good timing considering this whole start. Like, he was yeah. super shut down. It's really it's really important, like, when you... Well, we'll see bottom first. Uh, before I say this, the Witch Doctor will get quickly picked off. But when you are playing, like, these Monkey Kings and you do get a position where you're set back like this, yeah. you can't go this 4-0-4 build or 2-0-4 build or anything along those lines. You have to rely on your Primal Spring, your Tree Dance, to get your farm. That's exactly what Ame did. Constantly using that to clear the creep waves. That's why he's caught up like this. So all you Monkey King players, take note. See towards the mid. Ori. Jumping in and playing around with Chalice. Double 18 minutes in. Pretty much dead even. Yep. Net worth difference. 9 for 10 it stands as you can see. There was that little bit of a time where Vici Gaming did have the advantage. You know, the sort of the taking the early towers certainly did that. Not putting some pressure on this tier 2, but LGD they're coming across and they may be looking to fight this as they, they turn straight away towards Lanham. Lanham is gone and they'll look to take some more. 11 falls as well. Arme pops a celebratory what? Wukong's <laughs> command as he wants to get out his lads for the party. <laughs> I mean, it really was just there was no one else there anymore. <laughs> That was, that was interesting. He gives us standard permanent. That's fine with it. He knows. And during that as well, X Nova takes mid. A big swing of events from LGD, making all the right rotations, punishing Vici. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we are seeing... We're seeing the power. It's, it's an Omni-OD. Yeah, exactly. The it's, Rappel comes down and... He just waltzes Lanib, in. Lanib can't do anything. Sure, yeah. he pops Carapace, but don't matter. The Omni-OD is... It's quite something. The reason why a lot of teams don't let you grab it, but of course, you know, the, the, the LGD, they did see the charts with the... Those first two picks. But what are you going to do about that? Down bottom, FY. You can see if you can get the grab onto Fenry. Tries for the target. Oh, 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 oh just as Teeping out at just the right time. I mean, this position. is this lineup as well. We, we mentioned it during the draft and everything. This is kind of LGD's bread and butter. I mean, we know recently they've been doing oh. a lot of push lineups, but Paparazzi. they've had this similar draft constantly. Look who they've found. I know he's here. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, there we, we go. Control. They've got the shackle. Oh. Oh, Vici is falling apart. They are. LGD is finding some some big pickoffs. They're really pulling it together, making these moves as a unit, getting the space needed for Arme. And it's going to be a bit of a test to, to see if Paparazzi can keep up in farm. Sure, he's at the top of the moment, but when he's being knocked off the map for 40 seconds, that gap's going to be closed, and uh, LGD's cores will overtake the Terra Blade. Yeah. In a, in a very short amount of time, as both Ame and Somnus right behind that paparazzi. And it's something we, 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 we ticked on a little bit during the laning phases too. Sure, Vici, they have a greedy draft. They got a little bit away with it, but it's the mid game is how could they actually fight versus LGD's draft. Their team fight is way weaker. They pretty much are completely reliant on this puck until the Radiance comes out on the Lone Druid and this Terra Blade has a BKB. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Repels a good spell. Certainly is, even with that nerf, Cost what, 35 mana more? Who cares? Yeah. It's still absolutely worth it. Yep. And maybe is going to be going for a Hex as the first item after that Blink Dagger. Oh. Ame goes for the clay top on the Orion. They got him. They just kill him. Vici is, Vici is hemorrhaging kills all over the place. They are there. They're starting to quickly just fall apart. LGD uh, making the calls, making the plays, and Vici Gaming. All they can do really is just 
Hope and pray the space is there for Paparazzi to keep hitting those creeps. They do, as we said, they do still have these two cores. We're starting to see sort of this position of the game where they're, they're getting sort of punished for the fact that they have this Terrorblade and Lone Druid who are just fully focused now on farming away. Yes. But they are hitting the time. You know, you do have the Radiance on Eleven's Bear. And if they can keep the game going, Vici Gaming, there they are going to have these two very powerful heroes. But at they're this rate... LGD can certainly match that, and LGD are just climbing ahead at a rate that's going to be very hard for VG Gamers to slow back down. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that they, if you look at like the kill score and everything, it's actually just been LGD across the board. Like, yeah. VG's gotten maybe a tower or two in between there, but LGD's gotten two towers and like five or six kills amongst that. It's LGD's game now, it really is. Yeah, it's and this is their super comfort draft, and Ame, the Monkey King who was completely shut down in this game, is top Yeah, That is very a huge stuff. problem. For Vici. I mean, as we said, just a hero he is super comfortable on. And uh, he wanted it, he got it, the team gave it to him. Yeah, and, and they almost he's have. pulling it off. And now they almost have a hex finished on maybe, which is going to have that fur further catch and lockdown for both the puck as well, that Terrorblade. But now, Vici, they have the BKB finished on Paparazzi. They really want to take a fight here because they every time they've been splitting up, they're just getting caught off to too much by LGD. So what are they going to be able it. to find? Lanham looking for the opening. He's got his eyes onto Chalice. They will make an attempt. They go in with the stun. Have they got the follow cop control? They have that meter hammer. Death Lord's down. They'll find him. They'll take down Chalice now with the Dream Coil. Onto the OD. They're going to look to try and set up for more. TPs are coming through. We'll get the blink out, but the Dream Coil will still. They gets affected by the stun, but there's the torrent from FY holding back the two of them. They'll still close in. They'll bring in the bear. Savage draw as well, meaning that there's no chance for Somnus to react to this one. As they lose two on LGD, VG Gaming striking back with a successful smoke by the base. Look at X Nova. Took some damage. I mean, that's tier three tower. That's a big move though. That VG, like they had to make that. Yeah. The LGD was just farming they too get much. Two calls. Yeah, and maybe, uh, maybe gets a little bit too aggressive there. He wants to try to save Chalice when there's like four heroes there and gets caught by the Dream Coil. Maybe expecting to get a little bit more help at the tower, but Ame was not. Did not have a TP available as he went bottom to farm on this Monkey King. But now Monkey King does have BKB, so now LGD, they could look for an engagement since Vici has expended both the Puck Coil as well as Metamorphosis. And this Monkey King is pretty scary now. Level 18, so bonus 20 armor from that Wukong's command on top of BKB and Battle Fury. See what LGD's plan is here as they are. Up they there, just going into the pit. They know that, like I said, there's no meta. Yeah. There's no puck coil. Well, puck coil is now back up, but there's no meta. This is one of the big important ones. Fine with the sale effects, Mark. Just heading up to get some information on the whereabouts of Vici Gaming around the, the outer edges of the Roshan pit. Vici is playing under a ward at the moment now, too. So LGD, they know if they do try to make an offensive move in. They're going to get this Rosh for free. Uncontested. Very back and forth. Quite a swing there from Vici in the last few moments, but then LGD can take advantage of that timing. Okay. Somnus taking the Aegis, so already we've seen how hard he is to take down with the back of the Kunkas Rum and the Omni Knight's Repel. Now with that Aegis, it's going to be even harder. They've picked up a gem as well on LGD. Not, not like just now, but a, a few moments ago. So they'll be at least keep tabs on, tabs on when the Nyx Assassin, Lanem, is making plays on them. Ame bottom. Vichy looked like they wanted to try to make a move here, but Ame will go join his team toward top. As they have gotten the tower ready to half HP, so that could be where they try to commit. And Glyph is still down for about 30 seconds on the side of Vichy, and they do have wards ready for X Nova with a Blink Dagger. Time to get in and go. Instantly drop in the level 2 wards. Out of Ichi Gaming. Put a stop to this one. It's going to be hard. Flip is back up in 10 seconds. The tier 3 will be secured. Of course, as you said, they do take the wards down quickly, but not as quick as the wards have taken down that tower. I mean, now picking up the SNY, and I believe that is the Hex. Pretty much, yeah, done. Yeah, he's got it. Or maybe. Dyer, trying to, to head out at least with the Lanham. Michi's walking into Ward Vision right now of LGD. Ooh, LGD might Ame's want to got take a this. Perfect position right here at the moment. Jumps forward, gets the boundless strike, and immediately you see that jump as well from Somnus. Goes immediately onto Paparazzi with a hex, but Paparazzi gets the chance, put the BKB, turns around with the sun, and gets himself back up to full health. 
Avicii Gaming just trying to get themselves out of this fight. They've lost the Witch Doctor. They do manage to at least take X Nova in return. So one for one between the supports. That ward really paying off there. And the double boundless strike, of course, by Ame. That's a defensive BKB used by Paparazzi. They were almost actually able to bring him down. About to be level 20 on Ame. Continue to just be incredibly impressive on, on the Monkey King. If the farm is shooting to heights that are going to be very hard for Paparazzi to match and it's terribly. Yeah, I, I was trying to keep track of actually his last hits because I think he had like 90 last hits or so when he got he the Battle Fury, or yeah. like 100 last hits, and now he's all the way surged up to 250. After having all that pressure on him, Ame. Really able to farm. Lanem does now have the Blink Dagger finished up on the Nyx, so they will have a way to at least counter-initiate or even start the fight besides that puck. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Fenrir. Dyer's top tower he walked under the ward for a bit. Another ward placed down by LGD as well as a sentry. Since they are playing versus that next assassin, they want to go to speak to Now BG, they're knocking back. at the front door. I oh, are, there's tier 3. Being beat down upon by 11. Armin will come forward and will start to actually punch down onto the bed. Chalice, see if he can find anyone in the trees, but they're already TP'd out. And they will manage to get the bear back out to safety. Speechy gaming back off. Do do a significant amount of damage to the tier 3 tower, but yep. LGD will keep it alive for now. I mean, taking a fight versus LGD is very hard for yeah uh, for Vici at the moment because they still have like they still have that Aegis. I mean, farting into Omni OD is going to be tough for them at all stages. And Ori, he's got Blink Yules and he's on his way toward the Lincolns, but he's starting to fall behind. LGD smoked. They're looking for a pick off to be able to try to go for that high ground siege. Trying to bait a bit here with Arme. Fenrir. Trying to get a D-Ward, but it's going to cost him his life. Yeah. They wanted a bit of a bigger kill than that, but they'll take what they can get to defend their ward. Bounty. Paparazzi has cooldown on the TP for 15 seconds right now. Fly is trying to stalk him out, throwing torrents to scout out the and sides he here. He knows he's around. Paparazzi. How... Uh oh. How deep is FY going to search? Oh. He's being oh. resilient on this. He's continuing to do so, they and found he's found him. the big one. He's got BKB, and the TP is up now. So let's build, build the Jingu up off of it at least. But that's a defensive BKB used. Again. Yeah. Eight seconds now on that. Courier walks straight through the mid lane, and maybe he's able to kill him. Now, top. Ame just gets the solo kill onto 11. Anam's going to come forward. He does have Paparazzi here with him, but the Wukong's command still a Paparazzi. He is just walking through it. He's oh going to get hexed on Sanity. Goodness. Oh, walked into the center of the R. I guess he, he felt confident that he'd have a chance to get the Sunder off. Did not expect the Shaman to blink and instantly hex him. And then only going to get just that. They're going to look towards Ori as well, Ori. Pops the orb, but they're chasing. They're blinking down. Where's he going to go? They've found him. They've surrounded him. He's got the phase shift. He will have the blink, and he still has the self fuels available. Jumps oh, down, but X but Nova's X there. Hex comes through. Was LGD that the fine three? Was the hex on the paparazzi the shaman, or was it was it maybe? I think it was maybe. Oh, was it maybe? Yeah, so. I think it was maybe okay. hex from the OD. But either way, I mean, they find the catch, and yeah. the tankiness that you get from that from that Wukong's command playing a big difference there, and just being able to tank up. I mean, Ame just literally killed the lone and baited the other two cores into death. Now LGD seven K gold lead, a big swing. They can look to go for this high ground push, but 10 seconds until that Terraboid is up. Looking harder and harder for Vici as this game does progress. Absolutely a 8k lead and growing in favor of LGD. Well, consistently proved to be one of, if not the, the strongest Chinese team here at the moment at DAC. Very impressive games, and this is certainly one of them, as we said from the start. You know, Vici Gaming, they had the edge in the lanes, but LGD recovering perfectly and now becoming sort of this this force that is very hard for Vici Gaming to match up in the fights as Arme just drops the ult, takes the racks. There's nothing that Vici Gaming can do. Three melee racks for LGD. 
as Arme now nearly 5k ahead of the farmer Paparazzi Terrorblade. Yeah. The Lincolns now too, and maybe almost the Shivas. They're just getting so many big items coming out because of the way that they're moving around the map. And Fichi, able to really get too many kills out of everything here. They've gotten what, one... They've gotten like three kills in the last 16 minutes or so. Well, it's pretty much just been LGD favored besides that across the board. Bottom lane, though. This could be an opportunity. Can they actually kill Somnus? He's got the Hex to help him out. Self Astral is he's buying time for the rest of his team to come in, and they know that, Vichy Game. They're out of there. They know that they can't finish off the kill, and they just have to make sure that none of them get caught out themselves. So yeah, between the two, just not enough burst at this stage of the game to take down the big old OD. No, and they tried to do the, you know, the stun into the meter hammer, but he just stops that quickly with the Hex. Chalice gonna be just sitting near, near maybe for the time being, topping him off. And how's Ame going? Going to go for Butterfly and getting closer and closer to level 25 on this Monkey King. He is the highest level by five because he gets that big play up top. Paparazzi is a nullifier. Okay. Try to catch these heroes before those BKBs comes out, but. You just feel the struggle from Vichy. They can't actually group up and take fights. They just have to look for these like small pickoffs. LGD just always ready though. Nova. Yeah, look at I mean Chalice is I mean this all really this is all really Chalice has to do in this game. He has to just sit on top of maybe on the OD and top though. On him. Um, he's got the opening. He's looking for the hammer, but he can't again. quite get it out in time. The stun duration not enough for the full cast. Nova is more than safe. Did he, he mana burn too, right? Because if you just okay. stun and you meteor hammer, you it have time. Because you have two point eight, eight second stun at a two point five second channel. So I don't know if he gets the kill anyway. The solo kill he's done against Nova. We can see that Shiva's picked up by Somnus. There is a bear attempting to go for some split push here. Maybe we'll look for that. Gets the hex on it. Wants it. Do they have the follow-up control? It's by time. Teammates to get closer. They're, there, all, they're all in for this one. And they just get stunned up and it's dead. Look at that. Roche is up. Vichy. Can they actually get They've away with this scanned. one here? They know that they're here though, LGD. Uh-oh. They're heading over immediately towards the Roche pit. This is the Chinese Roche on at its finest right here. Lanham's trying to... Oh, God. LGD. They're getting close. Stand to the side. They're ready to walk into the bit. There's the jump forward. Next over. Drops the water. Tame puts the BKB and goes for the Wukons. Come on. BKB's out from Paparazzi, but they've already lost two on Vichy Game, and they've lost three. They just melt around the pit as LGD and walk Paparazzi. in and are ready to chase it. Sure, he's nullified the OD, but OD for the same duration just astrals. The Terra Blade. Paparazzi gets the Sunder off, but next over healed up by Chalice. He will still die. The Paparazzi in a lot of trouble. He'll try for the TP out, but there's a Hex in play. As Paparazzi falls, LGD crush Fichi Gaming around the pit. I think they just, that's like a full-blown desperate rush. They don't really know what else they can do. They're losing all these fights. They're losing pretty much every situation. They try to. They really tried to get that rush before they can get in there, but LGD, with that successful scan, as you mentioned, their team fight is just way too overwhelming. And I'm, that's, that's definitely just the game. It is. GG is cool, ladies and gentlemen. LGD will be the victors against Vichy Gaming. The Army Monkey King. I, I can't believe how well. Pretty incredible. The, the recovery. How well he recovered the was recovery. insane. I mean, it's, it really is up to that skill build. Getting that those four points in Primal Spring very early on, allowing him to catch up and farm. And the movements by his team around the map. You felt we were like, wow, Vichy. They're doing pretty well in the lanes with this kind of greedy draft. They but they couldn't take they couldn't take mid game fights versus LGD. You could just look at the power of the lineup. They're like Puck has to Puck is pretty much has to land like a five man five man combo. And LGD they ha drafted themselves as we mentioned a super comfortable lineup. They've had four of these same heroes in several of these drafts that they've had in the last week or so. And yeah, Vichy. A lot of it comes down to as well the decision making. I feel like that's my biggest thing with Vichy is some of the games they look really on when they have like these yeah. good these good like shot callings, that but is. some of the games too it looks completely random. It's it's just random. like like. <laughs> Like, their, their decision-making, it's either super hit or super miss. Sure. That's what I mean. It's like, they have, like, really high highs and very low lows. And this time, LGD just looking a lot more be a lot better just with the full comfort of this draft.
Absolutely. Well, what a, what a performance there from LGD, really, to close the day here on Group A. I do believe Group B will still be going on with their last game yeah, over on the other stream. Let's see what they're up to So here. do be sure to head over that. There's I'm seeing a lot of baby rages. They are on the last game. They've just kicked off the last game. So if you want to go and watch that, it is, of course, what is it? EG versus... EG versus IG. EG versus IG. Could be yep. a fun one. So go over there, ladies and gentlemen, and be sure to spam your baby rages. But we are done for the day here on this Group A stream. We will see you tomorrow. Well, I hope you're there nice and on time for some more Dota 2 action. But uh, from us here, oh, no, the Group A stream, have a good night. Goodbye from myself and Fog. Bye. I never seen an angel come around here. But I see the devil more than all.